Bridgelock's LED arrays contain robust semiconductor technology. However, the products must be handled with care to ensure proper performance and reliability. Gloves are used to prevent contaminants from getting on the edges of the arrays or onto the light-emitting surface, or LES. Tweezers can also be used to further reduce contamination exposure. Based on their size and shape, Bridgelock's LED arrays are shipped in various forms of packaging. The arrays can be removed from the packaging containers by hand, but gloves are strongly recommended. Remove by holding the edges of the array and lifting directly upward. The integrated connector for the Vero products can also be cracked if too much pressure is applied. Take precautions so as not to push on the side or on the middle of the LES. The arrays can also be removed from the packaging containers with tweezers. Remove the array by pinching the edges and lifting directly upward. Again, take precaution so as not to scratch the surface or push on the side or press down on the LES. Cleaning the arrays is possible, but caution must be taken. A number of chemicals can damage the arrays. Common chemicals that cannot be used for cleaning are water and acetone. A full list of incompatible chemicals is available in the Handling and Assembly Application Note posted on the Bridgelux website. Isopropyl alcohol, commonly known as IPA, is recommended to be used to clean the arrays, including the LES. Cleaning must be done in a manner that ensures additional contaminants do not interact with the surfaces of the arrays. Gloves and lint-free cleaning cloths, or swabs, must be used with IPA for cleaning. With light pressure, wipe the surface of the array to clean any contaminants. A clean array will help prevent the development of thermal hotspots and will produce high-quality, even illumination.